Good morning. We are live. It is Monday, August 22nd, and this is the Deep Dive with Keeping Current Matters. My name is Kate Rezebeck, and I'm so excited to be back here with you today. We've got a lot of questions to answer, and I think we're going to have a great way to start our Monday morning together. You know, I'm going to share a bunch of slides with you today, and um, if you're a KCM member, you can download those slides in the member area. But if you're new to KCM, you can also go to trykcm.com and get everything I'm going to share with you today. You can download those slides. You can have them share them with your clients because, you know, we're answering some really big questions today. We've gotten a lot of questions from agents recently. In fact, we surveyed about 400 agents um, earlier this month and asked, what's the biggest question that your clients are asking you. And far and away, one of the number one questions was about home price appreciation and what what's gonna happen with home prices. So we're gonna dig into that today and I'm gonna give you a lot more context so you can answer those questions when your clients ask you, what's happening with home prices? Where are they gonna go? Um, you know, it's, it's gonna be a great week. We are actually headed up to the Tom Ferry Summit. So if you are headed there as well, please stop by our KCM booth. We wanna meet you, introduce yourself. We love to see you there. David Childers is gonna be speaking this week. We're gonna have all kinds of KCM crew members over at our booth. We're gonna be talking about Real Talk, our, our uh, video product, our app. It's really, really gonna be an exciting week. So if you're headed out there, I wanna meet you. Our whole crew does. So stop by and introduce yourself and say hello. But of course, before we get there, we want to talk about answering one of the biggest questions that you're hearing right now. Like I said a moment ago, that's about home price appreciation. And, you know, this is a complicated topic. There's a lot wrapped into this. And if you're getting questions about it, your clients have questions, we want to provide you with simple and effective answers. I hope our slides will do that today. I hope our conversation will help do that today so that when you get asked these questions, you can answer them for your clients. You can be that trusted advisor, that knowledge broker. You can be the one who can help guide your clients through um, a challenging time. And that's exactly what we wanna position you with today. So I'm gonna go ahead and start sharing my screen um, so you can see what we're gonna talk about. Like I mentioned a moment ago, um, you know, pricing is one of the biggest questions people are asking about right now. And this is a screenshot from a blog that we wrote last week, and it says experts increase 2022 home price projections. So I'm sure you're looking at that and you're thinking, hold on, what does that mean? We're hearing about deceleration. We're seeing listing prices in some markets going from, you know, record breaking listing prices and price drops in our market. We're seeing all these things. So how can experts be increasing their projections for 2022? Well, that's what I'm going to break down for you. So let's start with this chart that we have um, that we shared in that blog last week. And you can, of course, go to our website and see this blog in detail as well. But this is many experts raise home price forecast. So what does that mean? Well, in January of 2022, in January of any year, we start the year sharing with you what are the experts saying about the coming year? And in January of this year, you can see, you know, several experts were forecasting home price appreciation. And that middle column right there in January averaged out to about 5% or so home price appreciation that experts were projecting. They were looking at all the factors that define home price appreciation. So supply, demand, they were expecting more inventory to be coming to the market. So coming off this record breaking year of 20% year over year home price appreciation, they were saying, you know what, that's gonna soften a little bit. You've heard us talking about that um, for a while now, but softening to more 5% home price appreciation as they expected a lot more people to be selling their homes and getting back in the market. Well, fast forward to the latest forecast and some of these were forecast quarterly, some monthly, the latest forecast released in the end of July um, showed an increase in that forecast. So an increase in that home price appreciation. Now you can see some outliers, Fannie Mae definitely on the high side of in, uh, forecasting up towards 16%. MBA, definitely an outlier, you know, saying 2.7%. But if you average all of those together, that's roughly 10% home price appreciation through the rest of this year. So from January 
to July. They reforecast up in many respects and are now saying this year should show, should show 10% home price appreciation on average. But I know what you're thinking. You're wondering, hold on a second. Like there's a lot happening with prices right now. How is this possible that we're reforecasting up? That doesn't feel like my market. And I hear you in that. And I wanna share another quote that I think helps kind of identify that. This is from Mark Zandi from Moody's Analytics. And it says, I don't think national housing prices will decline in a meaningful way, but there will be some price declines across the country. So the experts are looking at nationally, they're averaging it all together. And across the country, they are saying, yes, you know, we didn't see as much inventory coming to the market. We do see that you know, home prices are going to continue to appreciate based on supply and demand, maybe a little bit more than we thought at the beginning of the year, but not as much as last year. But in some markets, I hear you when you say, you know what, that doesn't feel like my market because some markets are overheated. Some markets may see declines. We're looking at this on a national level, and that's why it's so important for you to layer in your local data as well. But overall, on average, on a national level, Increasing home price appreciation, not as much as last year, but more than experts thought it would be at the beginning of the year. All right, so let's take a look at another quote. And I think this is, this is really powerful. This is from Black Knight. And it starts out by saying, annual home price growth dropped by nearly two percentage points, the greatest single month slowdown on record since at least the early 1970s. So we're talking about home prices continuing to appreciate, but if you're an agent looking at this and you're saying home price growth dropped by nearly two percentage points, that may cause concern. That may make you really think, wow, that's my business. That's my market. I hear you in that. But what we're talking about here is deceleration. And that's what I wanna break down for you. That's where I wanna tie the bow around how this all comes together. So the rest of this quote goes on to say, well, the slowdown, the deceleration was record breaking. Home price growth would need to decelerate at this pace for six more months to drive annual appreciation back to 5%, a rate more in line with long run averages. So we know that prior to the pandemic, you know, average rate of home price appreciation in a given year was roughly 3.84%. That was more normal. We're coming off absolutely record breaking, you know, very, uh, frenzied market of 20% home price appreciation. So if we continue to decelerate at this pace, it would take a while to get even back to normal. So we're not there yet. And we're certainly not expected to go there because home, home inventory is still so low. Now we've seen buyer demand soften and we've seen inventory start to increase, but not enough that would tip the scales to significant uh, declines. So what I wanna show you next is home price deceleration. So this is a graph put together that says appreciation is slowing, not depreciating. Now this is January to June of this year, year over year home price appreciation from CoreLogic. And I know what you're thinking, Kate, that's June data, that's a look back, that's not where we are, a lot has changed from then. And I hear you, and we're gonna continue to bring you the most updated data as it's released, but this is how home pricing data works. It's a little bit of a look back. But the more important thing that I can show you here is the trend. And I was, I was in the car yesterday and I was driving home from my son's baseball tournament. And I was thinking to myself, how am I gonna explain acceleration, deceleration, how does this all work? What's the easiest way to explain this? And I thought to myself, you know, accelerating is when I'm here on the highway, pressing the gas and we're starting to go faster and faster. And that's what this year over year data shows. If you go back to January, February, March, we were in the car, we were pressing the gas, home prices were appreciating faster and faster. That was an accelerating pace. Well, then what happens when you take your foot off the gas? you start to decelerate. That pace slows down just a little bit. So it starts to slow down and you can see that pace slowing down April to June. You can see that trend starting to happen, but it's certainly not slamming on the brakes, putting the car in park, going in reverse in that red zone for depreciation. 
All right, that's just not where we're headed. So deceleration, a slowing of that pace, it is just like what it sounds when you're driving in your car and you take your foot off the gas. It eases that momentum, but you are still moving forward. And that's where we are right now. We're seeing prices continue to increase, but at a slower pace. That's appreciation slowing, not depreciating in most markets. So we're coming off this 20% high of home price appreciation. And we're talking about what experts are saying in their reforecast for 2022. And that's what this looks like right here. So the average for 2022 is no longer 20%. It's 10 and like 10.3 is the average if you average all of these together. So slowing appreciation certainly slower than we were last year, more than what experts thought at the beginning of the year. So that's where that reforecast came in. And we're gonna keep our eyes on this. We're gonna keep looking. It's very common for experts to reforecast as the year goes on. So we're gonna keep looking at that. But we're projecting, experts are projecting continued home price appreciation. And a huge reason for that is because inventory is still historically low. And I think this data really sums it up. If you look at this, it's the latest from calculated risk. And it, this is actually um, com last week compared to the same week, or sorry, the week ending August 12th compared to the same week in 2021. You can see we have more inventory on the market than we did at this time in 2021, 30% more. So that's where we're feeling that deceleration. But if you think about how supply and demand works, if there aren't enough homes on the market for the number of buyers who want to buy them, prices are going to continue to increase. That's where we are. Because look at the same week in 2020, we have 8.6% um, less inventory than we did at this time in 2020. And if you look at the same week in 2019, we are down 43%. So that's huge. And don't forget that was a seller's market. So we are definitely in a place where home prices are decelerating, but not depreciating because inventory is still historically low. We're going to keep our eyes on the data. We're going to keep bringing this information to you. And, you know, as you feel this market shifting, this is the place to be to get those answers and to be able to explain this to your clients using these visuals, using these stories to be able to say what's happening and then layer in your local market data, because that's what makes it even more powerful for you to be able to answer your clients' questions and help them understand how to make powerful and confident decisions in today's housing market. So before we wrap up, what I wanna do is share with you another great resource that we have here at Keeping Current Matters. It's an agent's guide for video for real estate. You can go to trykcm.com slash video guide. And we have all the best practices and the resources for you to make fantastic videos. And guess what? You're hearing it all over the place. Go get yourself out on video, connect with your clients on video. This is the guide to help you do it. And you can definitely find it here. Of course, we also have Real Talk, our brand new product. We want to make sure that you can get your hands on as well. So you can find that on our site as well. So go to trykcm.com video guide, um, get yourself out there, answer those questions, be that agent who's the trusted advisor, create a video, use some slides we use today to make your own video about what's happening with prices, what does it mean to be accelerating, decelerating, how is this all coming together for today's housing market? So I'm going to pause right here. And because this is a big question that everyone was asking us and we wanted to make sure we got the answer out there, what I'm going to do today is say, if you have more questions about pricing or about this topic, go ahead and email me, kate at keepingcurrentmatters.com. I want to hear from you. I'm happy to answer those questions um, to make sure you have everything you need to feel successful, successful to be that trusted advisor. And of course, if you're headed out to Summit this week, I want to see you there. So come say hello, come stop by our booth, and we will catch you next week on the deep dive as well.